So, and as we start creating these, you have all of your drawing models for those in here. You get all your sheet models in here. And then, so the last one I'm gonna go through is the cross sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the cross sections. In this particular case, you need to have an alignment with a profile and you need to have a corridor on that alignment as well as having the 3D models. So hopefully everybody is aware if you know if you hold down the right click, at least in our delivered standards, there's a view control. I got a couple of them here, but we're going to go in to do our plan and 3D views. And so I'll go ahead and Yeah, this happens to me before. So since I had this default, I, hadn't, I wasn't using the default model here. I'm going to go ahead and select the 2D ANSI D. There we go. So the view control also uses that default model. And so, so here's our 3D model. You don't really see much on it because it's uh, basically the corridor that is, uh, or the template that is used for this corridor is just a null point, so it doesn't really show you much in there, but I want to go ahead and rotate around in the 3D, and so when we create our name boundary, you'll kind of see that in the uh, 3D view. So the next one over is the cross section. In this case, we're going to do a 10 scale cross section and go into my spreadsheet and get the naming and the size and all of that. So I'm going to put in the name, description, we'll do start location. Might help if I actually pick the alignment first. So there's 100. And then you're basically just doing one cross section. So that'd be the same station for both. Same thing when you're cutting them. You just need one cross section at a specific location. You can use this dialog for that as well. So, so in this case, the cross section length, we don't really need the length. We need the offsets. That so interval, whatever you want to set your interval at. Exaggeration, if you just want uh, straight cross sections or if they're exaggerated. And then top and bottom clearance, you know, especially even when you're putting your annotation and that type of thing in, you know, you might want uh, some clearance on the top. You just kind of have to play around with that. Datum spacing, if you want to include control points. I typically we use that or have the users toggle that on if they want that. So we'll go ahead and create our name boundary. I can't see it right now. So, so we got our unnamed uh, cross section. So this is going to be what our sheet seed is going to be named. You don't need the station on it, obviously, because this is our sheet seed. We'll do civil. And call this one cross sections. The drawing, call that, this will be 10 scale. And we're going to use our, this, we're going to use a grid with annotation group. We are going to create our sheet model. I'm going to set that scale to 10 and we'll click OK on that. And uh, it's very narrow. So if we take a look at put our title block in there and set this to cross section, you know, all these really don't look much different than. Uh, 
plan profile or cross section. So, and then as well, we'll go in and move that down and this will expand. I should have made that a little bit bigger, but, uh, so you're just going to pretty much come in and set your corners for that. Pick that again. And so there's our cross section. And like I said, I should have made that a little more distance on there. So there's a title block. And so, you know, this will expand based off of your cross section. I should have just given it more, you know, on top or bottom or both, basically. So, yeah, so this will just kind of increment up and fit as many cross sections on a sheet as it can. We'll turn off our border there, do a fit, and then go through our processes of, you know, save settings, then compress, and and the different view type properties and stuff. So. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.